What's going on everybody? My name is Michaela and I'm back with another video. Um, today I want to do a tutorial video on these vans. Now let me tell you, these vans have been through hell. Look, dirty, they're very dirty, they got dog hair on them, stuff like that. And let me tell you, I used to customize shoes and to be honest, cleaning the shoe before you do it is very important. I used to try to skip that step but they look kind of tacky. So make sure we're going to clean these, I'll show you how. Um, so that, and then a bandana. Literally a dollar, one dollar. I know everybody got these laying around somewhere. If it's not these, it's a different color. Um, this, one dollar, or maybe even like 95 cents, I don't know. And then Mod Podge, literally a dollar. Um, so yes, today I wanted to show that with you guys. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do it. And it's so easy, anybody can do it. That's the whole point of this. Um, it's not like you have to go out and order a bunch of stuff online, no paint involved, nothing like that. So let's get into it. Okay, so what I'm doing here, guys, is I'm just taking out the laces so that way we can clean everything how we need to. And right here, I'm just mixing half water, half Angelus cleaner, and just scrubbing the sides. You want to dry it off, make sure everything's dry before you get started. And then I take the laces and put them in some bleach. Okay, and right here, so what I did was I just cut a piece of bandana. doesn't matter what part you want. You're going to lay it down with some Mod Podge on the bottom as well as on the top. It doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be even, you don't have to trace it, you can go and fix that later with a pair of scissors. So as you see right here, I am just laying my first layer of Mod Podge, hold it, you want to hold it, make sure it dries, make sure it stays. And then right there you'll see that the edges are all riggedy, but you can go and fix that with an X-Acto knife as well as just a little pair of scissors. Um, it won't mess you up, just let it dry and then you'll be able to do it. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the next shoe. So right here you'll see I'm just cutting the back piece and I'm gluing it on same way I did with the first piece. All right guys, after that's done drying the first two pieces, you're gonna wanna cut four of these. I'm gonna start with the two right now and um, you're gonna wanna go on the sides here. For me, for these bands, I'm not going up, I'm just staying right here. I didn't really want to um, go here, but to me the shoe looks a little boring without it. Um, so what I suggest, if it's up to you, um, you can do the full sheet or you can honestly, because I want mine a little plain, I don't want too much um, print. You can just cut those little pieces out and put them on the sides here too if you want. I was going to do that, but um, since it's for a video, I'm just going to do it here. Um, all right. Okay, so now after that's all dry, this is what you're going to do. You're going to take your time and you're going to cut around just to fit where that white part is. Um, take your time definitely because um, the riggedy edge just doesn't look good. After you've cut the pieces and stuff like that, what you're going to want to do just to make sure everything kind of doesn't come off at all um, is just kind of go around with one more layer of Mod Podge around the whole entire thing. Um, just the pieces where you put the bandana All right guys, I hope you like this tutorial on how to make the bandana vans. You know, I only made this because literally anybody can do this. It's so easy and it costs like two bucks. If you have these shoes on, you can do it with any shoe. Just use those same steps and I just want to thank you guys for another video and please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. By the way, these glasses are fake, so I just look smarter.